I hit 1,000 golf balls and will be using this bit of golf equipment forever, possibly. No joke, over two days I tested this brand new bit of golf equipment and the results are bonkers. Now my YouTube channel is more about golf lessons and golf tips to help you improve your golf. But when I heard about this new bit of golf equipment that they're saying can improve performance, I had to test it. Technology that stabilizes both hands for a more square club face at impact. Ooh. What is this new bit of golf equipment, you ask? It is the new Golf Pride Reverse Taper Putter Grips. So in this video, I'm gonna talk you through the new Reverse Taper Putter Grips from Golf Pride, their technology. I'm gonna show you the test that I did hitting a thousand putts and the test results to see if these new putters from Golf Pride can actually help your golf swing or putting stroke even. First up, the technology. So what are Golf Pride saying? It's a never before seen shape with a larger lower hand reverse taper made to optimize both hands in the putting stroke, no matter what your putting style. The testing carried out by Golf Pride showed that reverse tapered grips, and there's three different shape styles, did a better job at delivering the face square at impact more consistently when compared to parallel grips. The thicker lower hand on the taper grips is designed to reduce tension in the lower hand while still providing feel and feedback to the golfer. The grips have soft feel with enhanced tacky texture, dimple patterns throughout the grip. And as I mentioned, the reverse taper comes in three distinct shapes and two sizes. The pistol, the round and the flat are the shapes and they come in medium or large with each shape. The grips are made out of polyurethane material so that each grip doesn't exceed 70 grams in weight. So can these putter grips actually help your stroke, your golf to lower those scores? Well, I've tested it and like I said, I've hit hundreds if not a thousand golf putts to test these grips and the results are crazy. Let's talk you through my putter test and then we'll get to the results to see which putter grip has won. In the comments down below, which one do you think will perform the best? Will they all perform the same? Because they are all meant to improve face control. Or will my original putter grip perform better than any of them? Let's find out. So how did I perform the test? First up, I took over my son's nursery. Sorry, buddy, my office just isn't big enough. I used my 10 foot putt out mat and I rented a Sam Putt Lab, which is basically a launch monitor for putting. It's gonna be telling you your face to path. It's gonna tell you where you strike it on the face, your path, angles of attack, you name it. With Sam Putt Lab, you have to hit your putt from the same spot every time. So throughout the test, I was constantly checking that I was hitting it from the same spot via this little rod that comes out and I popped across where my ball had to be sitting. I also set up Sam Putt Lab with a laser to make sure that I was aiming at something precisely every time. And that was my putt out pressure trainer. I lasered it to the middle of that putt out trainer so I knew that I had to be aiming at that every time. Now, if I had endless resources, I would have got four putters exactly the same and put all four different grips on each putter and then hit five putts with one, then another, then another. But unfortunately, I don't have four AI-1 6T putters. <laughs> so I had to do one grip at a time. But throughout the test, I stopped after 10 putts, took a rest, came back, started again, took a rest, came back, started again. So I didn't get in a rhythm of aiming in the same spot, repeating. And I also went and picked up my ball after each putt. So I wasn't just dragging a ball over to the same spot, standing in the same spot, repeating my stroke. I actually physically went and picked up my ball, came back, set up again, lined up again, and hit individually. I started the test with my own Odyssey grip. It's pretty round and quite fat because I'm a prayer gripper, so I have both hands pretty level with each other. So I'm basically doing that to improve my face controls. I've got a slightly fatter putter grip to help with my grip to improve my face control. So if these reverse taper putter grips do improve, 
I will be amazed because I'm trying to do everything I can to gain face control. Once I was all set up and ready to go, hit 10 putts, input the data into a spreadsheet for my stat man. Same thing, repeat, repeat, repeat until I'd done 200, 250 putts with each putter. With the first batch of putts finished with my own grip means it's time to take off that grip and put one of the new reverse taper golf pride grips on. And I chose the pistol because it looked and it felt when I just picked it up and put it in my hands, the most different compared to what I'm used to. And as I went through the test, hitting my next batch of putts, this grip felt unbelievable. It sat nicely in both of my hands. So my lead hand, the grip touches my palm and the sort of flat side to the reverse taper at the top made it feel so sturdy and felt like I had complete control of the putter. And the bottom fingers, which I have down my putter grip, also could really feel that reverse taper. I literally wanted to keep that grip on and be done with it. I was so happy. And I'm such a feel and looks based player that I just, I, I wanted to use it. But this is a big test. So on to the next one. The next putter grip I tried was the flat reverse taper. Now this should be the perfect grip for the way I hold the putter. It's designed for palm to palm grips like the prayer grip but it just didn't feel as solid as the pistol. The reverse taper felt too extreme on this one. So it was too thin at the top compared to the bottom, which made my sort of hands feel like I didn't have grip of the grip. And it put loads of pressure on my fingers, which are down the shaft or down the grip. It just felt too extreme. If the reverse taper was a little bit calmer at the bottom and it evened out that pressure on my hands, I probably would have liked it a little bit more. And it was also interesting. It was definitely the putter that I seem to struggle with getting the ball to the hole. I seem to be picking up balls short, short, short all the time. And I don't know if that was because of what I was feeling in my hands with that pressure at the top and it all being in my fingers. And with that batch completed, that leaves us with one grip to go, the round grip. The round grip felt very similar to my own, which, I would have expected it's a very similar shape, but it has the bigger taper at the bottom, obviously. And because it's so similar, it felt very comfortable and felt like I was used to it straight from the off. The pressure felt very even throughout the whole of the grip. And I was just super comfortable from the off throughout the whole of the test with this grip. So all three grips tested. And if I was just to pick one without looking at any numbers and data, I would 100% take the pistol. It felt incredible in my hands, in that lead hand, just it tucking up the palm here in this bit. It just felt really, really nice and solid. But do the numbers tell me the same thing? Will I be using the pistol? Will I be going back to my own grip? Will I be using the round or the flat? Should we take a look? at the data. With the data, I collected five data points. Face aim, where that putter is aimed at address in relationship to my target. Face at impact, same thing, but where is that face pointing in relationship to the target when I hit the golf ball? The path of my stroke into out, out to in, where I strike that ball on the club face, and finally, the big one, face to path. Will the reverse taper be better than my standard grip at controlling that club face? My stat man has kindly done some beautiful graphs for us to look at, but we're not gonna look at them for long because he's also done a table which ranks each putter grip from closest to zero to furthest away from zero, which in theory, if you get all of them as close to zero as possible with one grip, you're probably gonna start that ball in the right direction. If you do wanna have a look at the graph, so they're here, and each one is basically showing you all the putts that I hit. The dot in the middle is the mean or the average, and then the lines coming off of that dot is the standard deviations. Which grip is gonna be the winner? Here we go.
So let's take a look at face aim to start with. And the flat reverse taper has come out on top. It is lining me up at a dress the most consistently in line with my target. It's not zero. We can give you the averages in a second as well. But this isn't saying that flat is zero. It's not. It's slightly off zero in one way or the other. But this is basically just tabling how close each one is to that zero point for that bit of data. So the flat wins face aim. And my standard grip is the worst. No. <laughs> Moving on to face at impact, flat wins again. It is returning that putter face in line with my target, on average, the closest to nor. And again, my standard grip is losing. Oh my goodness, perhaps what they are saying is right. These grips are good. Putter path, the round grip is top of the pops on that one, giving me the on average straightest and closest path to naught, which then in turn has also given me the best impact spot. And you'll see in a minute when I put the averages up, my stroke generally, my path is out to win. I hit the ball off the toe. I have an open face to my path and my aim is generally down the left as well. So with each one of these reverse tapers giving me that strike closer to the middle of the putter is going to hopefully help me with face control and distance control and other aspects of putting which you want. And finally, the big one, face to path control. And the winner is the round grip. Pistol in second, standard isn't bottom for once and flat is the worst. So looking at the table, the round wins. And that doesn't surprise me because it's very similar style to my putter. I was kind of putting it in my hands and thinking, yeah, that feels nice. But is it the fact that it's now a reverse taper and wider at the bottom compared to mine, giving me that extra control of face to path, of that impact factors and impact spot, sorry, and path, which is going to hopefully help me start that ball online more often and maybe give me a bit more distance control. I must admit, I still wish that the pistol grip would have won. Let me know in the comments down below, are these grips something that you're going to go and try and put on your putter to try and help your strokes, your face control, your start directions to lower your scores, hold more putts and maybe stop free putting as often? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks everyone for watching and a little reminder, if you're not subscribed to the channel already, hit that big red subscribe button, hit the thumbs up as the channel likes it and also turn that bell on so you don't miss any of my new uploads. Hope to see you all in the next one.